So anybody that's followed my channel knows that I am a huge supporter and advocate for what is known as Shaphne, which is short for Shaggy and Daphne. And the reason I'm a huge advocate for it is because it's one of those kind of romances or ships that, you know, you can get behind. You can get behind and support because it's the underdog story. It is basically the underdog-like story of here's somebody that you wouldn't think would be likely to get with someone like a Daphne, and yet, you know, a lot of fans have seen that to be, you know, have seen that become a reality. Whether they grew up with the original shows when they came out, basically the, you know, all new Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo show, which, you know, morphed into the new Scooby-Doo mysteries and then 13 goes to Scooby-Doo. Or they've noticed some little tidbits here and there with the animated movies once in a while. But Shaggy and Daphne are not the only ship that people get behind. Another ship people get behind, and I talked about it recently, is Dale and Gadget, and there are some similarities. You see, Dale is kind of like a Shaggy. Dale is, you know, freelance, you know, he's relaxed, you know, he likes to, you know, enjoy himself. He likes to basically, you know, go with the flow. And the same can be said for Shaggy. Gadget is kind of like a Daphne, but not really. You know, she's inventive, she has a heart of gold, she's willing to help, you know, her friends out. Very similar to Daphne, but the difference is basically uh, Gadget's more innovative, more inventive, if you will, more creative than a Daphne. I mean, we would kind of see it later on with Daphne uh, when she would be in the new, all-new Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo show, new Scooby-Doo Mysteries and 13 Ghosts. We would see that at times, but not as much with Gadget. Now, just like, you know, Shaggy and Daphne, you know, a lot of people would say that Dale and Gadget have a lot in common. Now, when it came to Shaggy and Daphne, you know, the reason people would say they have a lot in common is because Daphne would be more willing and more acceptable to believing, you know, the supernatural. In other words, believing, you know, that Shaggy and Scooby did indeed see something that was out of the ordinary. Even up to sometimes the newer movies, she would do that. She would actually support them and be by the side. Gadget is kind of, Gadget and Dale, that relationship is identical, but not as much. Gadget basically understands Dale. I think we can, I think we can all agree with the fact that, you know, she does understand Dale. Yes, she can get annoyed just like anybody else with his antics when they're not necessary, but she does understand him more than anybody else. And what's crazy is Dale, in a sense, you can notice it in tidbits here and there, understands Gadget. So they play off each other very well. And it's very, it's not as much, but it's close to identical to, like I said, with Shaggy and Daphne, where both, you know, where Daphne is more receptive of Shaggy and Scooby, believing something that is out of the ordinary. She's more receptive, of, she's more receptive of that. She's more like, I believe them. You know, I go back to uh, the one new Scooby-Doo movies episode they did, I think, with Don Adams. I think it was Don Adams, where he asked, you know, the group there, he asked the Mystery Inc. gang who thought the place was haunted and who didn't. And, you know, those that didn't believe it was haunted were himself, Fred, and Velma. Those that did were Scooby, Shaggy, and Daphne. So, again, Daphne obviously was more receptive to believing, you know, something could be out of the ordinary and not be explainable. I mean, she even says it. If there's one thing she's very adamant about in Zombie Island and then later on, and like I said, even in some of the newer ones, is that there are some unexplainable events that occur that sometimes you just gotta, you know, let it be, you know, let it happen. I mean, 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo. 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo, 
Ooh, the the movie that basically followed it, or supposedly followed it, she's very adamant there that she, Shaggy, and Scooby, and Flim Flam saw the supernatural. Despite what Velma tried to say, you know, she was very adamant that, hey, I was there, Shaggy was there, Scooby was there, you guys weren't. We saw what we saw, and we're going to stick to that. And so, again... That's why a lot of people like Daphne with Shaggy because she's more receptive of that. And the same with Gadget and Dale. You know, they, you know, again, like I said, Gadget could get annoyed with the antics at times when they're not necessary, but most of the time she's very receptive and open to Dale about what he likes, what he's capable of, and she's willing to support that. A good example is my personal favorite episode, Double O Chipmunk. You know, we see a side of Dale we've never seen before. We see an intelligent side, a creative side. And guess what member of the team can appreciate that and respect that and want to contribute to that and encourage it. Gadget. Gadget is that character. She's willing to encourage Dale. She's willing to accept it. She's willing to, you know, embrace it, if you will, even to the point that she wants to put on a little spy game to make him feel better. And how does she help out in that portion? Oh, I don't know. Not only does she put the spy game together, uh, she also dresses up as freaking Jessica Rabbit almost. <laughs> the point is, when you look at ships like Shaggy and Daphne and Dale and Gadget, you see similarities identical uh, to each other, There's, with a bit of difference here and there, but you can understand why fans want to see them officially shipped. Why fans want WB to officially come out and make Shaggy and Daphne an item. Why you know people would want Disney down the line to say Dale and Gadget's an item. Because they see a lot of stuff in common. Yeah, they do have some differences between the couples, you know, that you would think there's no way, you know, this ship could be real. They would make it real. And that's true, but there's still enough there to make it happen, to make it official if WB and Disney of their own accords would choose to do so. And there's just, there's just too much there. It really is. I mean, when you really think about it, you think about it, Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Now, we never saw it really between Daphne and Shaggy unless it's arti Well, we did see it in Mystery Incorporated, but both were pretty much drugged because of some kind of mystic wood or something like that. We kind of saw it. We basically technically saw it there, but not really. Technically, but not really because it was an hallucination. You know, they weren't themselves, and it, but it happened. It happened. But when you compare it to Dale and Gadget, who's the one that's been able to, you know, get close to kid? Who's been the one that basically kissed, you know, kissed Gadget the most? Who's the one that received the first kiss from Gadget? Who's the one that's been hugged the most by Gadget? Who's the one that's been supportive of Gadget and vice versa? Exactly, Dale. Dale was the first one to kiss her. If you look at the very first episode, Cattery's not included. He was the first one to get a kiss from her in Double O Chipmunk. And then how many times, I can't count them, was she able to hug him? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Now, again, like I said, comparing that to Daphne and Shaggy, yeah, we didn't really see it you know, as much, if at all, except for that one moment in Mystery Incorporated, which was basically caused by the hallucination wood or whatever it was. But how many times was Daphne supportive of Shaggy and, you know, hugged Shaggy at times and, like I said, backed him up? How many times? More than I can count. Heck, a lot of people look at Legend of the Fantasaur as a good example. The thing is, ladies and gentlemen, the reason when you get down to it why people support these ships is because it just feels right to them. It's that classic underdog story. I mean, heck, speaking of underdog, who didn't want Shoeshine Boy to let Sweet Polly Purebred know, hey, me and underdog are one and the same? Huh? You know, who didn't want that moment to happen? 
The same with Superman and Lois. Who didn't want Clark Kent to finally reveal, which he did, you know, depending on co what continuity you read of Superman, you know, how many were hoping for, and eventually they did see it happen, him reveal the truth to Lois? A lot of people. Many people, to be exact. And that's the same thing here. There are many fans out there. They may not let themselves be known, but there's a lot of fans out there that would love for WB to come out with a Scooby-Doo movie animated, possibly more than likely, or even a series, and have Daphne and Shaggy become an item. They would want that more than anything. The same with Disney. People would love Disney that if they revive the Rescue Rangers after the movie comes out next year, they would love nothing more for them to take that revival and say, hey, we're going to make Dale and Gadget an item and, you know, you know and, that, and basically that's that. And basically that's that. You know, we're going to make Dale and Gadget an item and that's that, you know, and go from there. You know, there's a lot of people that would love for Disney to do that. It was, there's a lot of people that would love Disney, for, Disney to do that. So, in the end, in the end, it's a preference. Yes, we do understand that with Scooby-Doo, you know, the main romance, romantic ships there are Fred and Daphne, Shaggy and Velma. We get that. But if you were to ask a majority of fans who they would rather prefer be together in an official ship outside of those official ships, they'd say Shaggy and Daphne. And the same goes with Rescue Rangers. If you were to ask people out of all the official romantic ships they would like to see become reality, besides the indicated, implied, courtesy of Boom Studios and Ian Brill, Dale and Foxglove, you know, and the implied, you know, unofficial ship of Chip and Gadget, thanks to Chris Fisher. If you were to ask them out of all those ships who they'd rather see together, a lot of them would say Dale and Gadget. And that's the truth. That is the absolute truth. So, in closing, guys, when you really think about it, everybody has a, you know, a right to who they want to ship. But if you take a closer look at you know the whole Daphne Shaggy thing and you take a look at all the hints all the moments the shows you know as well you'll see why fans want those two to officially be an item and the same with Rescue Rangers when you see them basically always talking about Dale and Gadget should be together or at least indicating that that Take a look at all the moments. Take a look at all the times she's hugged him. Take a look at the fact that he's the first one to kiss her. More so than Chip. Look at the fact that he's the one to first get a kiss on the lips by her. Heck, look at the fact that in the episode of Wolf and Cheap's closing, after she uh, basically modifies the transformation gizmo of Nimnols to kind of restore uh, the Harry character back to his wolf self... After a little, after she fixes it, it kind of does a bit of a short circuit, right? It goes like that. What, who does Gadget jump into the arms of? Dale. And that's the second time that's happened. She fell into his arms. She thanked him in a very f romantic, kind of flirtatious way, sweet way. And then, ironically, she just jumped right into his arms. She could have jumped over to Monterey and into his, or jumped into another direction into Chip's. Nope, she jumped right into Dale's. Point is, when you see something like that as well, along with everything else I mentioned, you'll kind of see why fans want to see that ship too become official. But what do you guys think? What are your thoughts on Shaggy and Daphne, the Shaftney uh, ship, and the Dale and Gadget, uh, Dajit, if you will, I guess you want to call it that, uh, ship? What are your thoughts on those? Do you think they should be given a chance to become official to see how fans would take to them? Let me know what your thoughts are. And do you agree with everything that I mentioned that you could notice in everything that I just talked about that there's just too much evidence on both ends of the spectrum not to make something like that become reality?
Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Comment if you love. Uh, comment if you like. Live chat during the premiere. Like the video. Check out my Teespring store at B E W Roses. Be yourself to get some uh, shirts. I only have two up there right now. More are to come. More merchandise, if you will. Check that out. We really appreciate your support there. Oh, and by the way, speaking of Shaggy, in case you guys don't know. I don't know if it's at the beginning of the new Mortal Kombat movie. I'm sure it is. <laughs> Someone took the meme of Ultra Instinct Shaggy and made it reality. And that is no joke. Just watch the opening of the newest Mortal Kombat movie and you'll see what I mean. If not the new Batman movie. I don't know. But that's all I'm going to say, guys. So let me know what your thoughts are again on the Shaggy Daphne and Dale and Gadget ships. You know, if you... You know, agree with what I spoke of here? Again, like the video, comment below, live chat during the premiere. Check out my Teespring store, BWB, BW Roses, be yourself. And I will talk to you all later. God bless. Take care. I am out.